This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus P8Z77V LE Plus motherboard. It is a full ATX motherboard using the LGA1155 socket. The Z77V LE Plus is actually a very, very interesting board. It's got a very unique feature set. Um, it's been termed by some as a bridge board or possibly a step-up board. Uh, it's really interesting in that it's got very uh, much future-proofing, but also it's backwards compatible in a lot of ways. Uh, the Z77 chipset doesn't typically have legacy PCI slots, but the Z77 VLE Plus does. Um, with that in mind, you're able to step out of your older build into your newer build without replacing all of your components at once. Also, there have been a lot of, uh, for example, professional audio pieces that never went to PCI Express and only were PCI legacy slot devices. So, taking a look, first, let's take a quick look at the box so we can just take a quick look at some of the features. Uh, typical ASUS box, and as you can see, Smart Digi Plus once again, EPU and TPU power, so energy conservation or one click overclocking, as well as the Smart Digi Plus um, dual processing is going to allow for better overclocks and better tweaking for your. Uh, CPU. Going down, Smart Digi Plus, precise power control, network eye control allows you to have priority access uh, for all of your internet connection so your applications can actually be given priority to the connection. UASP support with Turbo USB 3. Um, Turbo, the USB 3 Turbo support actually can boost USB 3 speeds up to 170%. USB Charger Plus can boot, um, charge a unit three times faster than standard USB. NVIDIA SLI ready, AMD Crossfire ready. It is three card capable or four GPU capable. Virtue MB, MVP support is going to allow you to use the onboard iGPU uh, in the Intel Ivy Bridge or Sandy Bridge processor as a hybrid along with your discrete graphics card. Z77 chipset, Intel Core support, and LGA1155, also HDMI output. <clears throat> Some of the more ASUS oriented features, Dual Intelligent Processor 3 with Smart Digi Power Control. Really fantastic digital pro um, Fantastic VRM control, I should say, really allows you to tweak the power to the GPU and iGPU. Uh, a lot of control over it, plus a uh, very interesting one-click overclock or one-click energy conservation. You can actually monitor the power usage of the overall system and throttle down all of your components to meet requested power requirements. iNetwork control, as we said, actually allows you to prioritize the applications um, accessing your network. Asus USB 3.0 boost, again up to 175% boost in or 170% boost in USB 3.0 speeds. Lucid Logic's Virtue MVP, allowing for the hybrid iGPU discrete GPU um, mixture, which is going to allow for up to a 60% increase. And USB 3.0 and serial ATA 6.0 gigabytes per second per, uh, support. Now, also, let's take a look at the board itself. Taking a look at the board itself, as always, Asus gives you a really nicely laid out board. Uh, starting off with some of the basics, four DIMM slots, capable of DDR3 2400 overclocked, up to 32 gigabytes in the four slots. LGA1155, of course. And taking a look at the VRM, the first thing you're going to notice is that the heatsink is a little bit smaller than we're used to seeing, but this is not an extreme overclocker's board. It uses a 6 plus 2 plus 2 phase power supply, so you are going to be able to do some overclocking, but it, as I say, it's not an extreme overclocking board, so you're not going to get the kind of heat that you typically would uh, in the VRM in, say, a Republic of Gamers board. Therefore, heatsink on the MOSFETs and the inductors, capacitors, left without a heatsink because Without running a ton of power through the CPU, you're not going to heat them up all that much. 8-pin CPU. Um, you've got your EPU and TPU switches up top. As I say, it's a one-click. You can do it by software or with the switch. Energy saving mode or one-click, one-switch overclocking. 
fan headers up top, one for the CPU, one for a chassis fan. Moving down, we see two PCI Express 1 slots, two PCI Express X16s that are PCI Express 3.0, backwards compatible to 2.0, and one PCI Express that is 2.0 only. Taking a look, you see two PCI Express slots, Legacy, and there's a S Media controller right here, which is actually the controller for the PCI slots. Uh, standard PCI is not native on the Z77 chipset, so it does use the S Media controller to control that. Going down, you've got your Realtek audio as well as uh, LAN chips, Nuviton uh, sensor output um, chip, and also the um, S Media USB 3 controller chip. So, 24 pin motherboard connector. USB 3.0 connector, so two USB 3.0s can be put front I.O. or of course to the rear I.O. Total of six SATA connectors and a seventh for eSATA. Four Intel connectors, two S Media, as well as the eSATA. Front panel header, USB 2 headers, moving on, TPM header, front uh, audio header, and Moving up over to the back, again we see a very well put together board, very nice soldering throughout, nicely laid out, nothing rough to it whatsoever, nicely finished, good back plate on the rear. Moving over to the rear I.O., find two USB 2's and a PS2, as I say, bridge board. You don't need to get rid of all your old components if you're doing a step up. So the PS2 is included. HDMI and DisplayPort as well as an optical out, DVI, and VGA. You've got a total of four USB 3.0s, two run by the Intel chip, two run by the S Media chip. eSATA, Gigabit LAN, Realtek Gigabit LAN as we saw the chip, and 7.1 channel audio supplied by a Realtek 889. The P8C77V LE Plus is really a cool piece. Uh, it's really a great stepping stone getting into the newer technologies, especially the Z77. Um, it's going to allow the user to take advantage of all the Z77 features, including smart response technology. But on a backwards compatibility standpoint, you're going to be able to use legacy devices that are PCI uh, legacy devices and not PCI Express, and it has a PS2 port. So you're not going to have to trash your entire system in favor of a new system, and you can keep, uh, keep components. At the same time, you're still going to get all of Asus's vaunted features within the board itself. The dual intelligent uh, DigiPlus processors with EPU and TPU. It is ready for three-way SLI or Crossfire with PCI Express 3.0 on the first two slots, and it's also quad GPU ready. You're also going to get the uh, iNetwork control, as well as USB 3.0 boost, and um, USB BIOS flashback, which is a great feature if you've ever had a problem flashing a BIOS. It's a one-touch recovery as long as you have a USB drive. Really a fully featured board, and uh, not to be looked at so much as a lower-end board, but as a very unique board with a great set of features, especially for somebody who's coming out of an older computer, not looking to ditch all of their components, and moving into a newer computer, and looking to take advantage of things going forward as well.